Okay, explorers, so we are inside the house now. Just had a quick walk around to make sure it was safe. What a time capsule this place is. It looks like an old abandoned farmhouse that's been stuck in time since at least the 1960s, maybe even earlier. Absolutely frozen in time. Everything that we love on this channel, blown away. So with all that said, guys, we're gonna get straight into this. Absolutely amazing time capsule. Creepy vibes. And see what's left inside this place. Wow. Hidden deep in the Welsh countryside sits an abandoned house that time completely forgot. Today I explore an abandoned home that is the definition of what we would call a time capsule. The farmhouse sits on the outskirts of a tiny Welsh village and was built in the early 1800s. Inside, I find the remnants of the family sat completely frozen in time, undisturbed for decades. With the table still set, beds still made, and artwork still hanging on the walls, the home has been completely lost to the modern world. I find artifacts and vintage furniture sat untouched for nearly 60 years, and some even dating back to over 100 years. With the house slowly becoming derelict, this could be the last chance to see how this family once lived all those years ago. So join me as I take a look inside and see what remains. All cobwebs, which shows this place hasn't been open in a very long time. A quick step back and you can see all this mouldy wallpaper peeling off the walls. Absolutely sodden and damp. Would not trust that electricity. That looks like it's ready to blow up in the slightest bit of power. We've got the old wooden beams above. Classic to any farmhouse. And look at this, the wallpaper draping down covering this corridor absolutely amazing place we've even got the old wood paneling which was classic for those days some sort of thermometer or barometer but it's fallen apart over the years and i am not surprised in such a damp house i mean the place smells like nobody set foot in here for at least 40 years the old light switches check them out not a chance, not a chance, but we have to try it, don't we? I mean, concrete flooring. It looks like the old Victorian tiles, the red tiles. You can only just see it under the carpet though. And look at these door frames. Look how low they are. I'm stood up straight. I'm saying about five, six, five, seven. Who lived in here? Bloody hobbits. There is funny noises happening. I think it's drips from the ceiling. There is a few slates missing outside, but just completely adds to the, the explore. We're gonna start in this way. This one's got a slightly higher doorway, maybe added on afterwards, but let's just step foot inside and look at this. Energy saving light bulbs. There is no way. That absolutely blags my head. It looks like energy saving, but check this, it looks like vandals have been in here at some point. Or could that have just happened over time? Not 100%. Looks like an elderly person lived here. Got the old Zimmer frame. Or maybe even somebody injured. You don't know, do you? But look at that armchair just covered in white mold. Just sat in the corner. Quite haunting, still got the throw over it the pillow and an electric heater it makes no sense guys it makes absolutely no sense but check these the old air fresheners they would have been sat on here at some point glade nice and you can see where people have been in in the past check that out that is completely rotten you could almost put your finger through there cobwebs look at these curtains hanging down very strange when you see the old curtains. Oh, 
thought that would have had some sort of pattern on there. Oh, this one does. Queensland, Australia. But, obviously sat here for so long. Hmm. Old fireplace, look at this. It's even got the old fire guard there. Keep the birds out, I suppose. You can see how wet it is. It's actually dripping down the walls. Crazy, black mold. Should 100% be wearing a mask here. But you know me, I forgot it. These newspapers don't look too old. 2009, there's no way someone was living here in 2009. They can't be. I suppose that is 15 years ago. Wooden beams, classic for the old farmhouses. I'm excited to check out this room. We'll do that one last. Let's head into this one first. Bit more light in here. Oh, check out the old budgie cage. Wow. Even got little bits of detail in there. Speaking of detail, look at this wallpaper. Very retro, but that is cool to see. Even got the little thing where the budgie would sit on still. Cobwebs just over the top. Old thermos. We got stuff in the cupboards here. Oh, we have a few bits, a couple of jars. No idea what they'd be for. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. But look, all the debris falling from the ceiling. Just all resting on this worktop now. Oh my God knows what's in there. God knows. Biscuit tins, nice, nice, nice. They will be rusted shut to be fair. Oh, look at the plates. Gravy jugs. So damp in here, look. Is that? Fly eggs, rabbit, um, rabbit eggs. Maggot eggs, that's the one. The old tin there with a few bits in. Check this out. What would that be for? Putting spices on maybe? Possibly. Another older electric heater on the floor there. But look at the debris. All along the floor which has come down. Oh God, we're gonna have to go up there. Oh, that's completely rusted. Got the soap, sweat in there. Ooh. Another broken window. But we have pint glasses probably stolen from the pub. Little dining room table here. Incredible. Scales. A microwave cookery book. <laughs> you don't see that, do you? You do not see that anymore. Still looks quite clean inside. Check that out. Oh, my feet are squelching on the floor. Oh, God. But look at that. Timer's still going. Switches still work. That's incredible. Can't really see what that is, whole picture there. That's pretty cool. And what, what's this, look at this. Got the towels hanging up still. And the little tea towel holder, but look at this little doorway. Wow. Goes under the stairs, let's have a look. Oh wow, it's like a little hidden part of the house. What do we have in here? God knows, but look how old that is. Bristol's cream. All this stuff is just left here. Absolutely incredible. Nails. There's even an old handbag with soaps in it. Wow. It's amazing to see this place in good condition. I know obviously it's got a little bit of vandalism, but nothing major. We still have grape 
is that like a wine a homemade wine it looks like looks like they hung their washing up in here as well so like a proper little utility room the train blue not sure what some of this stuff is but wow another broken window it's got a few broken windows whether that's the weather or people getting in back in the day I'm not 100% but more Bristol cream there oh wow look at this old wooden pirate ship still in a case bit of damage on it but not too bad you can still tell what it is this is such a cool little hidden room and a few more big bottles on there and old bottles at the top here as well look at that guys besides ooh, besides the like light bulbs and those papers from 2009 everything else is like 30 to 40 years old so it's so strange to just see those two little bits just left in here like it's so contrast to the rest of the house including like the little doorways like this it's very strange <sighs> everything else screams like 70s 60s except for those little bits but i do want to check out this dining room it looks absolutely amazing and possibly the best room down here look at this dining room big dining room table chairs still around even got a a little centerpiece here a silver teapot not sure what that is inside there's a little shells and balls and we have the wine blackberry wine 1983 so homemade wine just sat on the table here rose with wine 1968 elderflower 1966 incredible just sat on this table just been here for decades big dining room table too a few plates on the top here bits of silver Let's see if we can check out this view it's a misty day foggy day but still absolutely amazing view out the window there armchairs artwork and look at this old cooker it's rusted away it's actually got a cookbook rusted into it here but look at it how bros i can't even read it it's so rusted got this big chain above it i wonder what that's for would you hang a a kettle off there a teapot or something back in the day and look at this just completely rusted there's your hot water this is unbelievable to see something like this and it was obviously still used because there's no other cooker in here that slate fuses all bits and bobs big old brush to clean it off mixed fruits travel sweets and an ashtray even the old look the old lamp wow ow just cracked my head off this fireplace oh that hurt wow but look at this dining room absolutely beautiful probably a center point for the house even a little off this desk here would have obviously been working here nowadays you'd plug your laptop in there wouldn't you oh look tv aerial so I wonder if they had a TV on the side here. Makes sense, wouldn't it? It would make sense. Another armchair. Whoa, look at this next to it. Old vinyl player, record player. Bush. Oh, God knows what year this would be from. But look at that, still plugged in, I think. To an aerial, anyway. I'm not really sure. His Master's Voice, The Gypsy, by William Edwards. Wow, incredible. Just sat on there still. But what a room this is. 
Absolutely unbelievable. So there's your downstairs. What was that? Did I, I'm not sure if I knocked the chair or, what the hell was that? Anyway, there's your downstairs. Living room, amazing dining room, kitchen, and even a little hidden pantry area. It's a big house, isn't it, to be fair? Mate, amazing wallpaper. But we're gonna head up these stairs now, check out the bedrooms. No idea how many bedrooms this place is. There is a lot of noises in here though. So coming up these stairs, you've got the runner up the middle, got the brass to hold the carpet in place. Bannisters come away. Yep, come away here as well. But look at the size of this landing. All the wallpaper peeled off. Oh my days, I'm not even upstairs yet and look at this artwork. Oh, I missed a step. That's the problem when you're looking through the camera. Look at this, who's this gal? Amazing piece of art here. And look at this beam. I could not live here. I would be smacking my head off this 24 seven. I'm not even up the stairs yet. Not a chance. But here we go. Bedroom number one. I'm gonna be careful on these floors because they are a bit dodgy. Single bed, possibly a child's room. Wow, look at this dresser. Somebody's broke the mirror, so seven years, bad luck for them. We're not gonna damage anything in this house. Wow, old records. For the, for the record player downstairs, Philip Watkins. All in Welsh, so obviously Welsh speakers. No. Something's just touched my back. Something has just touched my back. As I was leaning over here, it felt like a little shove. I thought it was the door, but I am too far away from that door. Hello? It was a full on, straight in my lats. Anyway. We're gonna keep going. Single bed, ashtrays. The bed is still made underneath as well, which is incredible. Always nice to see. That has well freaked me out. If anyone's in this house, can you give me a little knock? At, uh, a bang on the wall, maybe? Can you do that for me? Okay, thank you. Ooh, okay, so there's somebody here with me. Right, these floors are so dodgy. So we're gonna be so careful walking around. Big double bed here, maybe a master bedroom. The floors are so crooked. I'm not too happy about walking around on them, but we're already here. June 21st, 1989. Oh, is that a shell? No idea. Oh, these floors, man. Look at this dresser. Absolutely amazing. Armchairs, not armchairs, dining room chairs. And they're using this as a nightstand. You'll have to tell me if there's something down there I couldn't see. Look at this wallpaper though, peeling off. Whatever touched me then has thrown me off. I came here to do an explore, not a paranormal. Anyway, third bedroom, bedroom number three, and look at that. The whole wallpaper has come away together, all the way down. Oh, this floor feels a bit sketchy to be fair. So I'm gonna be extra careful in here. But look at that, wonder what it's covering. Armchairs. Oh, a dresser. We've even got a coffee table in here. But there is a big double bed. 
wardrobe full of rat poo and another dresser which has been smashed there's no glass anywhere though so maybe that one was broken prior to the house being abandoned but very strange I literally don't even have any paranormal equipment with me and I feel like there is something in this house what are the odds? look at this banister I wouldn't mind possibly trying to have a look at this dresser so if I can manoeuvre that and hopefully it won't fall down the stairs I think it will I think it will okay so we're just going to put that against the dresser and we'll still get be able to get down here is that the same lady? possibly also a fan of budgies is there anything in this wardrobe? No, just really old hangers. And some alcohol just hidden at the top here. This wine should be served chilled. Another dresser. Oh, look at the old brownie camera. It's rusted to the bloody cloth. But check that out, just sat here. Obviously not been moved in years and years. Oh, we actually have two bedrooms here, possibly. Definitely got one. Oh my days. Look at the decay, the whole ceiling's coming down. You've got this false ceiling just all over the floor here. There's a few bits in here though. Nice big double bed. Oh you like? We've got a piss pot. Haven't seen one for a long time. Oh those piss pots. We've got two. Happy days. You know it's a good explore. Who's this? Old blue eyes here hugging this massive dog. That's more like a wolf and a brooch. Oh wow, check that out. Looks like there's diamonds in there maybe. I'm not gonna touch it though. Oh, there's bugs under that, Jesus. And this girl here playing the flute. Oh, look at the old jewelry box. We have bits of perfume in here. Old earrings, so rusted though. Nice heart shaped box. Oh, happy days, we've got piss pots. Who's this fella here? Oh, don't want to break anything. Who's this? Look at this guy playing cricket here. Who are you? I'm just going to move this around. Sorry guys, just give me a sec. Sarah. Okay, we've got a name. Sarah. Sarah, the girl that touched me then? I'm saying Sarah, and it felt like a little girl's room that I was touched in. You guys are gonna think, this guy is off his head. But it 100% just felt like somebody just, a little jab in the side. And I was like, oh, it's the door. Turned around, I was nowhere near the bloody door. It's that strange. What do we have here? An old money box and a vase. Is it a tobacco tin? It is, but from a hell of a long time ago. And look at that little makeshift key. Wow, incredible. What a place, we've even got some clothes. But look at the colour of them, all discoloured. They're almost brown now. Oh my days, look at that hoover. Looks like sort of bloody Ghostbusters. Oh wow. That could be one of the oldest hoovers I've ever seen in my days. A nice old fireplace, detail in that. Incredible, what a place this is guys. This is for time capsules. It's got to be up there, you know. And it's dark and it's creepy. Ooh, and something's touched me. God is light. Okay. Oh, who is that? Who the hell's that? Gotta hold that up to see it, but he better not be in here, he looks creepy as. Little, uh, that's like your salt and pepper holders, eh? Plates. I'm just taking these off for a sec, just so I can see what's in here. This old chest looks like a war chest. Oh, behave. How am I gonna do this? Pull that. Pull that back. 
There we go. Empty bag. Bedding. Look at this. This looks handmade. And again. But there's actually clothes in here. A little shoe. Looks like uh, something your Nana would wear, wouldn't it? You don't see them uh, in the club anymore. Oh, there's letters down there, but they've got addresses on, so really don't want to like give this place away because it's such a nice house and time capsule and it's horrible to see them when they go to waste but I can't believe the size of this house as well and we've got another room here more like storage maybe but there's all artwork in here I'm a bit this first step is uneven so it's not good it's not good Oh, there's a creepy ass attic up there. Look at this old handbag. Got two handbags. These are the old wash basins, the the marble tops. So the piss pots would probably be underneath here, and then you'd have the wash basin and the big jug to wash your hands with. Of course, we have a Bible. You have to have a Bible in these old farmhouses. A checkbook. Um, is that one? I think it is. Oh, it's fell apart. An old sun hat. And we do have a few pictures here. Elizabeth Hughes. Is that for a funeral? Oh, wow. Born 1877. 85 years old. Died May 12th. But I can't see a year, so maybe she actually died in 1877. Maybe. Wow. How long's this house been here then? Look at this art. These are Victorian if I've ever seen them. Check that. Look at that, it's just come off it. Disgusting. I need a bloody shower. Oh, oh my days. Eleanor. So another funeral picture. 1874. Wow. I never knew that people did this, like little commemorative um, pictures. That's incredible. I'm just worried about who the hell bloody touched me. Look at this, more of these worktops, marble tops. Oh my God, the floor, I'm gonna go through this. I'm gonna be in the kitchen making a sandwich. Oh, oh look at the old radio, wartime, if I've ever seen it. Wow. A medium I can't see the make on that but it's got an M MB I can't really see it I'll try and get closer in a sec old newspapers but look at this artwork what a throwback oh my days I'm trying my hardest guys not to damage anything if God is be there for us who can be against us oh look at it it's all falling apart there's bloody wood louse all over the shop. Oh. Wow. The religious paintings. I'm trying to see what this is as well. I can't really tell. Oh, they look like lights or heaters maybe. Look at those crutches. Oh, the floor, man. All right, I'm gonna have to extra careful here, guys. Look at these crutches. They look like they're from the first or even second world war there. Why are they just sat here? And these frames. I'm trying, I'm trying. I really don't want to damage anything. I'm trying my best. I've actually done really well. But I'm also very wary. I'm a big guy and these are old floors that nobody stood on for. A long, long, long time. More artwork, look, religious artwork. I think there's one more we can just get to there. That they wait upon. The Lord shall renew their strength. Guys. Piss bots. More piss bots. Oh, I can't even get to them. More piss bots. Okay. Let me get out this room. Okay, explorers. So there's the house. Wow, what a place. 
some of the stuff in it, 1870s. Those um, death pictures, funeral pictures, What I don't know what you'd call them, I've never seen them before. In that last room, absolutely amazing. The bed's still being made in these other bedrooms. Oh, I can't even wipe my face, but what a place. Something definitely 1 million percent touched me in that room. That is very strange. Maybe I'm gonna have to come back to this place in, in an evening, bring my paranormal equipment. Let me just get into a bit of a lighter room. But what a time capsule. I need to go around now, take some photos, get some B-roll for the video, and I'll see you downstairs. Wow, what a place. Okay, Explorer, so that's the house explored. Some sort of strange paranormal activity in there. I was gonna take a look around the outbuildings, but they are all locked, so I don't wanna do any damage to any other property. So we'll just leave it at the Explore for today. But what a beautiful, absolutely amazing time capsule. Just left here in this foggy countryside. I've absolutely adored this house. Creepy, derelict, smells terrible like abandoned but amazing place so i hope you've enjoyed it guys i'm on to the next one and i'll hopefully see you there next week let's do it